I think the answer is the growth is actually a bit of both. Uh, there's a huge increase in the number of transfer traffic through the airport, but also Dubai has been expanding as a city for many decades. And I think the combination of both a really strong economic uh, position, a really strong tourist offer, and of course the geocentric nature of Dubai really is making all of those things converge to produce the sort of growth results we've experienced over, well, since the airport began in 1960. And given how quickly the growth has been the last couple of years or so, uh, are you f beginning to face capacity constraints? Capacity has always been a challenge, but we have become masters over the last decade in particular of actually putting together a strategy to make best use of the fairly scarce resource. We're very fortunate with the predominance of the A380 as, a, as an aircraft that's used predominantly in Dubai, we have an incredibly effective use of scarce resource. Something like 230 passengers per movement where an airport such as Heathrow, it's about 180. So we're very efficient and we are investing a huge amount in technology, infrastructure and process change to make sure that that growth can continue despite some of the constraints in our infrastructure. Well, I'm so pleased we've got you in today. Uh, one of our headline stories, as you saw, is uh, British Airways, 380,000 customers now worried about their credit card information. This is not the first time B BA has had a PR disaster around IT. What the heck's going on here? Why are we seeing increasing breaches like this and IT problems with a major international airline company? Well, as you know, businesses around the world, particularly in travel, are going through quite a massive technical revolution and we're replacing manual processes with much more slick technology. These have incredible benefits both to customers and to the efficiency of business. But the thing is, when you are placing greater reliance on technical systems, you've got to invest in making those systems more resilient and more impenetrable to what seems to be, unfortunately, a case of renewed activity to bring those systems down. So it's a very unfortunate confluence of different things, but I think it's a message to everyone that if we are going to continue to invest in technology, which clearly we must do, mm. the resilience and the uh, defenses against cyber attacks have to be equally robust. BA took a decision to outsource to India um, ahead of what now seem to have been a whole series of problems around IT. That would have saved them money. Is the problem here that too many companies like BA are focused on the bottom line and immediate financial benefits rather than focusing on the security of their systems? I think every company has to have a very strong um, IT strategy and in fact the appointments at board level now are increasingly composed with people who have good technical skills because it's a survival tactic. So I think the decisions at board level to invest in technology are the right decisions but alongside those decisions you need to have a real focus on improving customer service, improving that resilience as well as the bottom line. I think the difficulty, a lot of companies are always under pressure to save money, to reduce costs and sometimes that actually exposes an organization to things going wrong. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.